Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures. Ooh. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Um, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, just going to make some little labels. Now, I know we've made labels before. We made labels out of book, book words. Um, so we made these basically. Sorry, let me get my glasses on so as I can see. We made these. Um, quite a few videos ago just using words or sentences out of um, book pages often of music pages or magazines anything old newspapers and we were just taking the words and backing them onto dark colored card or whatever you've got to back them onto but we were making like little labels that's just a page number could have actually cut that a whole lot smaller, couldn't I? Um, I've got this one, which is some of the contents, the contents, page numbers, because we don't have an awful lot of coming down. So we made them, but these, what we're making tonight, are not, um, they're not labels in the traditional sense of um, words. So what I've done last night i sat and sorted this out this is just one of my scrap things um this is another one <laughs> and then there's a, a big basket at the side of my desk and then there's a basket here and yeah i've got tons and tons and tons of scraps so this is like the little scraps and strips so i took it all out and i sorted through it all last night and i was trying to find interesting little bits of paper nothing like super super amazing but anything that's got like a bit of floral on it that's got a rabbit on it as well that. a bit of floral um flowers just <clears throat> something like a bit of um flourish and a leaf anything that could be a focal point um i've got bits of this that has words on it not that we're particularly doing words but i just had that laying in my box so just picking out whoops out of my scrap bits something with just a little focal point really um that's obviously a ticket but i'd printed something on the other side so i can't really use that in a pocket so i found these as well these were tickets just little bits of interesting paper don't have to be anything super amazing just the the bits that you've cut off the end um but they could have like that one that's just got a leaf but it's got some writing on there and i just thought well how cute will that look um i think that's wide enough but just backed on to some let me try and pick a straight bit not that my cutting's straight anyway but how cute will that look just backed onto a little piece of black card if you want you can make a really tiny border or you can make a slightly wider border and cut the corners off like a like a tag shape so you can cut the corners off and cut round your piece of paper that you're putting on to make it fit <clears throat> excuse me you could even punch a hole in the corner and put it on a bulb pin just to dangle in a journal so that's what we're making tonight i did a video last night but um <sighs> it was so atrociously bad I mean, I was laughing through it, but I was like, this is really bad. You know, when you just have absolutely no creativity whatsoever and you've got all this stuff in front of you that should really inspire you. It didn't inspire me last night. And after I'd made about four little things, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this video. <laughs> so I deleted it. What I actually was thinking is when we've got a journal, so if we make a big... Um, like a big edge page pocket. This is not a good example, but if we were making a long edge pocket, neither is that, that's even shorter. Um, okay, if we were making a long pocket in our journal, sometimes we like to put another little pocket on there so that we can stick things in there. And then sometimes we go even smaller and put 
another pocket there so you can put things in there but for that we need some really tiny stuff so my video last night was let's make some really tiny ephemera tiny tags and tiny atc cards and i got the whole contents of this box out that's full of stickers and all sorts of bits bits of die cuts and all sorts and could i really come up with anything not really i'll show you what i made <laughs> And then I cut the video off. That is the best of the evening. That was my pinnacle. The others, not so much. That's not too bad. Um, but but yeah, I really was clutching at straws. I've got some little stamps out and I'm thinking, okay, that's just a knot. I can use that as a bow. Um, using up little bits that were on my desk. <laughs> they look okay, actually, through the camera lens, but... <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not that great. So yeah, I was going to make some mini stuff, but I've ended up making mini stuff anyway because I'm going to be making these, aren't I? So I'm just going to get some glue and I'm going to start gluing. So what I thought with these, um, let me find. There is a label somewhere. Ah, here we go. So I've all I've got of two piles. I've got piles of maybe interesting little things, and I've got piles of black white brown cream card these are for the backgrounds just just off cut strips from printing nothing amazing nothing fantastic but i just thought you know let's get layering up some things and making little labels so i had it a minute ago there it is so i've got this actual label which is a this is a die cut that i've got um so you could possibly put that on there in fact, I am going to put that on there. And that's already a little label. That'd be nice as a, a long ways label, wouldn't it? To come down a page or on a belly band. But if you're feeling like it's just a bit too plain, you can also add a little word if you wish. We don't have to add words because we're not making word labels. But if you feel that it needs something else, then you can do. So I think I'm going to actually put that on there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to glue. So what I'm going to do is just, I've already pre-cut and pre-inked because I thought you really do not need to see me cutting bits of paper out and inking it. So you don't really need to see me gluing it to other paper really, do you? But uh, <laughs> we've got to do something on a video. <laughs> I can't do every part and just go, here, look what I made. Oops. Um, not that you need to see me sticking bits of paper onto bits of card but is that right in that way that's that way so i'm just going to go for the corner and i'm just going to stick them down i might stick one or two at once oh, that edge is a little bit wonky you see my wonkiness um <clears throat> this one could i do this one on brown maybe everything i don't know what it is but since i cut these out i think everything looks better on black I'm trying to be like, no, you can do some on other colours, so I kind of like the black. <laughs> oh, bless you, little chicken. I've just, um, I bought myself a wheat pack the other day because I do get really cold feet in bed. And do you know, I haven't even used it yet. Uh, the cats have used it. The cats have used it several times. I haven't. And I've just been downstairs because it's a bit chilly and I refuse to put my heating on. And I'm sat in here, I'm all right. I've got a cardigan on and I'm wrapped up. So I'm just like, I'm not putting the heating on. But the cat is snuggled up in the tightest little ball on the bed. So I'm like, oh. And he was laid on the wheat pack. So I'm like, do you want me to go warm the wheat pack, boo boo? And he's just laid right along it. <laughs> Bless him. The other two are cosy. They're downstairs on fluffy blankets on the sofa. So I think that one might go on there. <laughs> Just waffling away there. I don't know. Actually, I like it on the black. If you like it on the black, put it on the black woman. Just, you know, there are no rules. There's nobody sat there saying, you can't have everything on black. Can if I want. So I think with that one, I mean, the writing is... It goes that way, but I could put a word on, a word on there. And I got these words. Oh, 
I printed off a sheet of paper. I think I think I found it on Pinterest. I'm 100%, well, I'm about 99% sure. I found it on interest. Interest? Pinterest. <laughs> and it's just one sheet of paper, just one sheet, and it has on that sheet, if I can get this out, it has on the sheet um, these tiny little um, fussy cut flowers, little things, tiny little, um, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but anyway, it's got them on. And, um, and it had these words that you can see here and these words. These all came on the sheet along with these cute little tiny journals. But what were cool about these is they were printed out and there was long because the inside, it was all one piece and you just fold it back, stick it down and you've got your inside cover and your outside cover. And I was like, oh, wow, these are really cute. So just before I came, <laughs> just before I came on camera, I was doing little signatures for them. <laughs> <laughs> they're so tiny but i found this on pinterest printed it out not really knowing why i was printing it out but i'm glad i did because they're so cute so yeah i've just been sat faffing with my other bit cool way to use up your bits of paper though isn't it making tiny signatures for tiny little journals look at that <laughs> i know i'm crazy right so there's two on there can i fit another one on there without it impeding the others. Mm, not really, because I need a good bit of black around it. So, okay, I'll cut them out in a minute. So I've got, I've got more black bits. Oh gosh, glue. Whoop, don't you mess with my signature for my little journal. Oh, gosh, bits of paper are falling out of it now. So, um, now that's got like a lip. Wouldn't it be cool if I had another one there? And then I could just slot that in between. Anyway, let me turn it the other way as it's still got the lip. Well, obviously. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. I got that on the glue. That's one of my little journal pages. Just messed everything up now. Um. So, yeah, just a tiny... It's a tiny project making tiny things because we're all always trying to think of ways to use up our scraps. Um, trying new inventive ways to use up your scraps. So I just thought, well, this is quite cool. Making little labels. Um, and yeah, using up them bits. Can I fit another thing on there? No, I don't think so. I can fit one on here though. I've got all these bits, they're like an aperture card. Yep, that can go on there. So, but there's probably lots of ways you can use these. You could use these to put in tiny little pockets, or you could even make them tiny little pockets, or you could just make them labels, or you could just hang them on bulb pins or on bits of ribbon. Um, I might give that one a slightly wider border and then taper the ends when I cut it out, maybe. Um, I think I can fit another one on there. What can we have on here? I might do that on a, that's just like a dark brown. Oh, that's nice. I'll have that on there, because that looks cute. So, yeah, so I'll stick that on there. I don't know why everything's looking good on black to me at the minute. I do kind of want to use some other backgrounds. <laughs> Black's just so cool though. I love black paper. Um, I was watching a lady on Pinterest doing paintings. She's an artist, obviously, and she she mainly paints like um oh, I think it's man mandalas or something that like um Asian people have, you know, the henna tattoo things. She paints things like that, like um mandalas, I think they're called flowers and stuff but she was doing them on black card with gold and um metallic pastel paints and all my days it was so beautiful kind of inspired me to come up here and paint but <laughs> yeah me and painting mm, possibly not 
so there we go stick that on there. i'm just sticking them all on at the minute and then we'll cut them out so let's hope and pray and i can actually cut them straight you know because you know me um can you see okay you're a bit up in the air aren't you just pull you down a bit i mean i'm only gluing card to card so it's not exactly that exciting but um oh good grief this glue is the bane of my life lately i do really do think it is the cold weather because it's not normally as bad as this but so this one is going on the cream label that is already a label so that's cool let's try and get you in the right place there we go. And I may just add a word to that one, although it looks quite nice on its own. That would look nice just on, on a pocket or on a belly band or something, just to give the belly band a bit of interest. So, hmm. Okay, I've got some tiny little flowers lurking about on my desk as well. Could even add some of them here and there. Right, I'm looking at this brown paper here. It's not straight. I think it would look nice with that oh, yeah so I think I'm gonna have that on oh hang on I've just seen that is this big enough for that yes it is yes that'll look nice on there I need to use some brown I? <laughs> and cream I've got all these bits of card out all just out of my bits box but when I were finding all these bits of card I was also finding other bits of interesting paper and that's why I've made the little mini journal because for some I was putting them aside for some reason. I didn't quite know at the time why I was putting them aside, but I'm like, oh I like that. I like that. Oh I can do something with that. And and then I just thought about the little journal and started putting papers together. So yeah, so that one's kind of done. Um what have we got? We've got some cream card. Anything that look good on cream? That's got black on it. Maybe that that'd look quite. Actually, that'd look nice. That'd look really super nice on the black, wouldn't it? Oh, that looks so pretty on the black. But I'm almost tempted to put it on white because I've done black ink around the edge. Oh no. Oh no. That pops more on it. Yeah, we'll have the white. I love the white for a change, even though I'm not a big fan of white in my journals. I'll go with it because, you know, I've got to be different now and then. Not everything can be backed onto black, can it? <laughs> so let's let's have a white one. And you can add other things to these. So I'm saying that they're going to be like a basic label that can just be a bit of decor in your journal. But you can actually add to them if you want to add bits of lace or bits of ribbon or gemstones or stickles or pearly dots. Pearly dots? Novo drops, stuff like that. Nothing stopping you doing that. Um, I think I might just stick a couple of these on here as well. Because these warrant a white background, don't they? Black pieces of paper. This is actually paper. Um, from a rack somebody sent me and it was sw some swaps quite a group of us did some swaps um, about a year ago and the lady actually made the envelope and this was some of the paper that was on it so that's got a bit of a crease in it I don't know whether to use that no I'll just share with it does it matter does it matter? It's only a little label. I don't think anybody's going to be sat there scrutinising it with the spyglass. Oh, look, it's got a crease in it. Oh, how terrible. <laughs> and it's not cut straight. Oh, I don't like the fact it's not. Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't like the fact it's not straight. What about this one? What about this one? Now, that looks nice on white, doesn't it? Or does it look better on black? Hmm. Ooh, it does look very nice on black. But I think it pops more on the white, actually. So it's going on the white. There we go. I need to find some more stuff to go on the brown. I think I've only got one brown at the minute. So. 
so I'll pop that one there and I will cut round all of these shortly. That's my least favourite bit, the cutting. Because <laughs> you know me and me cutting, I can't cut straight. That looks quite nice. I think, I think, I think I'm going to possibly prefer it on the black. I don't know why. Maybe I should have put that other one on black because it's got the big white flower. But that looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. Anyway, I just saw some at brown. I was wanting brown, wasn't I? Is that big enough? Oh, no. Um, that, that definitely isn't big enough. That's a darker brown. What else have we got over here in the pile? We've got this. Do I like that, though? With that? Mm. It's okay. I think I prefer a darker brown. Have I got any more dark brown, though? That's the question. I don't think so. I probably do have in my large bits box over there but I'm not even going to start getting that out because dearie me we'll be here forever um that's the same as that I don't know why that's there um yeah I've got no more brown oh well that's not very helpful is it it's going to have to go on there. I don't even know if I like it on there. This is me faffing now. Sue's faffing again. Call the faffing police because she's faffing again. Oh, that looks quite nice. <laughs> I want it on brown. I could have it on this brown bit and just cut, cut a bit off. Certainly could. Oh, where's my other brown bit? Aha, I might be able to get it on there. Let me look, let me look. Don't put that over there, so that goes in that pile. Ooh, ooh, squeeze. A squeeze a Rooney at that edge there, but I think we can do it. Whew, we can do it. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, so I'm having fun sticking bits of paper. Are you having fun watching me stick bits of paper? <laughs> probably not. You've probably gone now and I'm just sat here talking to myself. <laughs> like, yeah, seen enough, so I know what you're doing. I'm off. See you. Bye. <laughs> uh, would not blame you at all. Right. So oof, that's going to be a tight squeeze cut. But, you know, we can do it. We're crafters. You know what I mean? Okay. So should I just... Um, oh. There's a brownie bit, but it's a different brown. What's that? Ugh, I can't even get older stuff. What else have I got in in this little pile? Excuse me. Um, that's cute. I need so much go on there. Something really tiny. I don't think I have anything that tiny actually. Do you want that side? I've inked that side. So I guess I'm going to have to go with that side. That would also look nice on brown. Mm, it's just not quite long enough. Oh, dear me. I've got a problem with a brown tonight. I'm going to go with this one. Can't be bothered messing anymore. Right, shall we cut some? Shall we cut some and finish them off? Because you're all sat there watching me just gluing bits of paper, which is absolutely riveting, isn't it? Not that watching me cut out cut out is going to be any more exciting. <laughs> Especially, uh, you know I can't cut straight, so it's probably going to annoy me. Right, oh my days. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm chopping. I'm chopping. Ooh, I'm chopping. Eek. Oh, that's a bit wonky, but it's it's actually not that bad. I can live with that. So that's my first little label. And that would look nice if you've got... Um, oh, I've got nothing here at all to show you, have I? Um, if this is my journal page, if this is my journal page and... and um, gosh, um, this is it. Oh, this is a pocket... That would look quite nice, just stuck on the pocket. It can be a decoration. 
So I've cut one. <laughs> I've cut one. Right, let's cut some others. Um, oh, this one scares me a little bit. I've got to get right in the middle of there. I might, I might, I might. Ooh. Oof, that's a thin border, but it's okay. Thin borders are acceptable. Oh, well, a wonky border's acceptable. I'm not going to have to because it's, it's me cutting it. Um, and get that off up there. That's, that's okay. I quite like that. I quite like that. I haven't left um, a big border around any other. Because I was saying if you put a bigger border, you can cut the corners like a ticket. Um, and make it a bit more label like or you can um oh yeah punch a hole in it and put a that's a bit that was a bit close that's just a little bit rough you can put um a bull pin on it is what i was trying to say oh my word what you know why didn't you look at that bit there because we're worrying about the other bit at the other end, but it doesn't matter. So that's done. Um, let's get this little little black one here. I did leave a little bit more space around this one. That's not straight. There we go. They're quite pretty though, aren't they? Just you know, little things. Better than the little things I were making last night that I didn't even show you because <laughs> my video were just so bad <laughs> my creativity was like non-existent i just thought it's not even worth putting that video on oh that is pretty i really like that really like that um do i keep this one wide or would this go better with a a bit of a thinner border i think i think it's slightly thinner slightly thinner okay um yeah so i actually was messing about last night i cut all these pieces out last night but then i realized how late it was and i'm like oh my goodness she really needs to go to bed soon i've had a horrendous week for sleep but um and yeah, and then I stay up to like stupid o'clock in the morning. Cutting out bits of paper, can you believe it? I bet you can all believe it because I bet you guys do it as well. I know when I used to make cards like 20 odd years ago, I had a lot more energy then. I actually used to make cards till about two in the morning and then go to bed and then get up and go to work the next day. I'm like, I don't actually even know how I did that. Well, I had a thing called energy back in them days. Okay, I'm trying my best to cut straight. But it doesn't really matter on this one because this has got a wonky bottom. So I might even cut kind of wonky to try and follow the curve. Yeah, that doesn't really look very good, does it? But anyway, it's there. It's a thing. It has been created and it is a little... Um, Whatever it is. Tag, ticket, pocket. No, not pocket. Do you even know what you're on about, Sue? So. That was the most unstraight cut that I've done so far. That's pretty. Pretty unstraight. I don't care. Because, you know, like I say, you're not going to scrutinise it, are you? If you look at it there, you can see that this was not cut straight. But if you look at it there... It looks fine, you know? Don't worry. So I'm going to take that one that I thought could possibly do with um, a little thing on it. I mean, you could put the word in the middle. You could put it off to the side. I'm going to put it there, I think, if my glue's not completely fogged up on me, which I think it has. We, oopsie, we've got glue bog, glue boggeritis. Oh, what was that word? <laughs> what was that word? Slob, slob. I was watching Pam at the paper outpost earlier 
and uh, she came out with this word because her desk was a big, big mess. Uh, all of our desks are big, big mess. And she said, I've got, what did she say? Something like slobberitis. <laughs> I like that. It's so funny. <laughs> I think I've got slobberitis too. It's a horrible thing to have, you know. It's not infectious though, so you're all right. Although it could be, you know, with us crafters. We could all end up with slobberitis. <laughs> it made me laugh when she said that. I was just like, yep. I know what that is. I think I've got it. <laughs> Although I did tidy my desk the other day. Not that you'd think so if you saw it now. I tidied my desk. I tidied all my million things that I want to put in my own personal journal. Oh yeah, my own personal journal. <laughs> So I haven't sewn it into the cover. I haven't even made the cover yet. See this here? <laughs> you see all this? <laughs> this is all stuff I want in my journal. Um, you see all this here? This is all authentic vintage stuff. I, I want this in my journal as well. And um, I've already put some things in where I think they'd look nice. And my journal is about kind of that fat. And, I, and I've got all that to get in it. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to get all that in it. But I just, there's just so much stuff I want to put in my journal. And I'm like, oh my days, you should see the signatures. They're massive already. Right, I think this requires a word. Um, Family? Do we want family on there? Mm, I don't know. Maybe book lover. No, treasures. Let's have treasures. I like treasures. There we go. Let's have treasures. So I'm not going to carry on with this video for much longer because, oh my goodness, where does time go? Have I been waffling for 32 minutes? Sticking bits of paper on you must be bored out of your brain. Right, so I'm going to just, um, I'm going to go <laughs> because I've pretty much done what I wanted to show you, just to use up some more of your bits and your strips, just making cutesy, cutesy little labels, labels, and labels kind of have the connotation that it's got a word on it, but it doesn't have to have a word on it, does it? So here we go. These are some of my labels that I've just made with you guys. I hope you like them. I hope you liked that little demonstration. I probably bored you stupid. But there you go. We have labels. So I'm going to go off now and make the rest of my labels. And I'm even going to make one of my teeny tiny little journals. That's so cute. I stamped a thing. A lady sent me some stamps, Pauline. And then... Um, yeah, I found that paper that I tried the stamp on. So I've just been putting really tiny little papers together. And um, I'm going to make a teeny tiny journal. Yay! So there you go. I hope you're all having a nice time. And I hope you're all happy, chilled, and maybe even crafting. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.